Howdy everyone, welcome back to D&D and Me, and we are on the fungi. Now, I'm going to be honest, they all have a little bit of lore on... No. One of them doesn't. Wow, that's impressive. So, uh, I'm going to do this kind of a little backwards. So I'm going to do the fungi lore, and one of the creatures is technically last on the list, but because it doesn't have any set lore directly on it, I'm just going to use that one. And then I'm going to do the ones out of lore. So, just so you know, the actual version of how this is supposed to go is the gas spore, the shrieker, and then violet spore. Violet fungus, I'm sorry. That's a proper way, because that's how it's kind of put in the book. But instead, there's no lore on the violent fungus. So it's not going to go there. It's going to go with this video. So, getting into it. The fungi. With its sky of jagged stone and perpetual night, the underdark is home to all matter of fungi. Taking the place of plants in the subterranean realm, fungi are vital to the survival of many underground species, providing nourishment and shelter in the unforgiving darkness. Fungi spawn in organic matter that break the matter down to consume it, feeding the on filth in corpses as a mature. Excuse me. Fungi eject spores adrift on the slightest breeze to spawn new fungi. Not needing sunlight or warmth to grow, fungi thrive in every corner and crevice of the Underdark, transformed by the magic that permeates that underground realm. Underdark fungi often develop potent defensive mechanisms or abilities of mimicry and attack. The largest specimens can spread to create vast subterranean forests in which the countless creatures live and feed. Just doing once more of a look over. Nope, never mind. Viol Violet fungus does actually have it. I just completely fucking missed it somehow. So ignore that. I accidentally lied. I just completely like ignored this section of like text somehow. Probably because I was doing a quick glance. So I lied. This will be the gas spore. My apologies. Uh, the gas spore. The first gas spores are thought to have been spawned from dead beholders whose smoldering. Wow, they're smoldering apparently. Like the rock in that one movie, which I think it was Jumanji whose moldering corpses fed a parasitic fungus with aberrant magic. Having long since adapted into a unique plant creature, a gas spore grows quickly and purposely out of a corpse. Purposefully, I'm sorry. Creating a malevolent-looking mockery of the most feared denizen of the Underdark. Oh, wow, there's like a little quick picture of it in the corner. That's actually pretty cool. Uh... Eye tyrant's form. A gas spore is a spherical balloon like fungus that resembles a beholder from the distance, though its true nature becomes increasingly obvious as one approaches it. The monster pr possesses a blind central quote unquote eye and rhizome growth spouting from its upper surface, superficially resembling beholder eye stalks. Yeah, because they're just pretty much fungus. Dearth Death Burst. A gas spore is a hollow shell filled with a lighter than air gas that enables it to float as a beholder does. Piercing the shell even with the weakest attack causes a creature to burst open, releasing a cloud of deadly spores. A creature that inhales the spores becomes a host to them, and is often dead within a day. Its corpse then becomes a spawning ground for which the new gas spore arises. Uh, uh. The gas spore is a large plant, unaligned. AC class of 1, hit point of 1, 1d10 minus 4, speed of 0, but it has a fly speed of 10 feet, specifically hover, has a strength of minus 5, plus 3, dexterity of 1, minus 5, constitution of 3, negative 4, intelligence of 1, minus 5, wisdom of 1, minus 5, charisma of 1, minus 5, it, it's a lot of negatives. Damage immunity to poison, immune to being blinded, deafened, frightened, paralyzed, pro poisoned, or prone, it has blind sight up to 30 feet, Blind beyond that radius in a past perception of five, cannot understand any languages, and it's a challenge rating one half, 100 XP. Uh, its abilities are Death Burst. The gas spore explodes when it drops to zero hit points. Each creature within 20 feet of it must succeed on a DC 15 Constitution saving throw or take 10 average 3d6 poison damage and become infected with a disease on a failed save. Creatures immune to the poison condition are immune to this disease. Spores invade an infected creature's system, killing the creature in a number of hours equal to 1d12 plus a creature's constitution score, unless the disease is removed. In half that time, the creature becomes poisoned for the rest of the duration. After the creature dies, it sprouts 2d4 tiny gas spores that grow to full size in seven days. These motherfuckers are creepy. Eerie resemblance. The gas spore resembles a beholder. A creature that can see the gas spore can discern its true nature with a successful DC-15 intelligence nature check. 
It has one action only. It's a, called touch. It's a melee weapon attack, plus zero to hit. Reach of five feet, one creature only. Hit one poison damage, and the creature must succeed on a DC 10 constitution saving throw. We become infected with the disease described in Death Burst trait. I fucked that video up too. <laughs> Two in a row for me messing up. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Show everyone that you can or want to this channel if you're interested in D&D. If they are, you know, all that type of jazz. I really do appreciate it. If you do, please comment down below if you want to see anything or if you have any comments or, you know, suggestions of any sort. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.